Uh, I was teaching student government at a previous school and we had a freshman officer and they were encouraged by some older students to make a joke on social media about one of the dress up days. What they posted was inappropriate. It was done as a joke. Didn't harm anybody, but at the same time it was offensive and definitely not school appropriate, not appropriate for a student government person to be posting this. And during that parent meeting, mom was so mor mortified, embarrassed by what their student had done and what they represented of themselves, that mom just started crying. And it was one of those moments where you could physically see where actions that weren't planned out well, maybe done impromptu or to please peers, devastated this kid's parents. And then all of a sudden you saw this student be devastated as well because they knew how much they had let their parents down. Peer pressure happens every day in our daily lives. Now there are multiple different kinds of peer pressure. A couple of examples are positive and negative peer pressure. Negative peer pressure can lead teens in bad directions. It could lead them to try alcohol or drugs, skip school, or engage in other poor behaviors that could put their health at risk. This could all lead to bad grades in school as well as having a harder relationship with your family at home. Positive peer pressure can help teens develop the coping skills necessary for adulthood. It might encourage teens to become more active in athletics or to avoid risky behaviors, which can be especially helpful during rough times. According to the study.com, 90% of teens reported having experienced peer pressure, while 28% reported that their social status was boosted after they gave in to their peer pressure. This statistic alone supports the idea that peer pressure happens more often than we may think. I think everybody wants to be liked. I think everybody wants to belong. I think that if you're in a group, you feel better about yourself knowing that others are surrounding you. And I think, it, especially at this age, sometimes we think things are funny without really thinking them out and who they could hurt or harm. Um, and uh, I, I think that that's where a lot of this stems from. I don't think people are really trying to be mean all the time. I think sometimes negative behavior just comes from a group mentality of what they think is funny, even though it can be offensive or harmful to others. When a person verbally communicates or instructs another to engage in a particular behavior, this is a verbal or spoken peer pressure. It can occur one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. Often the more individuals who are present to hear that request, the harder it is to deny it. An example of this would be if a classmate asks their peer, do you want to skip school and come to the mall with us? If you're ever put into an uncomfortable situation where a peer could be pressuring you into something, you may want to have a backup plan with someone who you could call to get a hold of to get you out of this situation. And if you ever witness negative peer pressure going on, don't be afraid to jump in and help stop it.